Sup Shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to ESP Reviews, where today I'm going to be checking out a few tracks from an artist named Tom Gorsuch. I've actually listened to his music before, a few months ago now, I listened to one of his tracks, and we've got another three today. So I'm going to switch over to YouTube, where we're going to be watching a few different music videos today. Uh, this first one is uh, Cosmic Orphans, Them Scars. Um, we've got uh, vocals and lyrics by Brandon Kirkham, music by Tom Gorsuch and Brandon Kirkham, mix and mastering, Tom Gorsuch, Thomas, and then we've got additional keyboards, Brandon Kirkham. So I'm guessing this is more, this is Cosmic Orphans is the group and them Scars is the, the, the act. And yeah, they won the London Music Video festival for 2020 so that's pretty dope so we're gonna listen to this one from start to finish as well as the other two and we're gonna hear what we think so quickly. like straight in with those vocals that's really refreshing hang on just um no no the mic's about right sometimes i'll boop the mic between recording sessions and it'll be a little bit out so i just have to kind of make sure it's straight I'm liking a stereo pan kind of uh, percussion. I'm loving the guitar work as well as the vocals. Everything's balanced pretty well on that mix. It's, it's a really good first impression. Oh, filter work. Really nice vibe change. I'm digging the change in the groove there. This is a lot more upbeat. There's a nice contrast between that sort of verse and this chorus section. I'm loving those kind of call and answer and going on between those kind of verse bits and or sorry that the vocal lines and that that pop 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 but that kind of melody that's going on the fourth beat. There, one, two, three. Oh, it wasn't the time I was trying to point it out, but you know what I mean. Scars we have are the ones that bear the truth. Oh, okay. Love cuts both ways. Them scars won't heal for me. Is this song talking about like breakups and how you never truly recover from the loss of losing that someone in your life? but how those scars are actually the truth about the situation. Maybe that relationship actually did you damage. And even though you feel like you're losing someone or something, you're missing something, like you've, you've lost your identity or a sense of your identity, um, it's potentially for the best in the long run. Scars, them scars, won't you for you, them scars, Turn your Nice vocal harmonies there for this hook. Kind of nice eighth note groove this entire sort of piece. Yeah, obviously this woman is finding incredibly difficult. Like the actress is fantastic at doing what she's doing. She's a fantastic uh, actress. It's it's captured well. It's communicated well. I mean, the music is doing it by itself, which is 
which is exactly what you need. You need the music to tell a story, but the video helps that I am unsurprised that this video won an award. That was a really interesting little build there. It was nice to have a break in the flow of the track and to have a bit of silence for a bit just to contemplate the situation and kind of figure out where you stand with it. That build, I'm assuming there's gonna be some sort of revelation that comes from this. Oh, is this her completely changing her appearance just to forget, to kind of really kind of show a change in her life and her direction? Is this kind of saying, I'm not the person I was before and I don't want to look at that same person in the mirror? Is that it? The, the music is so gentle and understanding. That was a really interesting track from Cosmic Orphans. I, I love it. I really adore it. I think they did a fantastic work. I think they did a fantastic job with this. I, I think it was very heartfelt and sincere and it was caring. It, it respected the, the humanity of the purse, the, the main protagonist. It's a very authentic performance. But yeah, just the, the vocals were delivered in such a gentle way and the instruments were also, it's like everything came together in a way that was, and it, very wholesome. It was accepting of the fact that things had gone wrong and the music was attempting to come to terms with that and find a way through it. And at the end, I think this conclusion here signifies that they made the change necessary for her to kind of face herself and not detest herself as a human being. I, I, I like the song a lot. Them Scars was well, very well done. Um, congrats again on the award. We've got the second track now. Which one is it here? We've got When You're With Me, it's by Tom Gorsuch and AJ Lewis. Um, Gorsuch. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. We've got music, mix, mastering by Tom Gorsuch and uh, vocals and lyrics by AJ Lewis. Awesome. Cool. Let's have a listen to this one and hear how we go. Boom. When You're With Me. Start with that piano. Very nice. Damn, man. What a phenomenal singer. <laughs> that technique's flawless. This time is crazy. Can you believe? We're climbing mountains too high to see. So obviously this is a love song. That piano was such a great teammate for the singer. They they support it just worked together so well. Uh the 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 kind of the piano sort of danced with its sort of main melody in a way that surrounded the singer as he expressed expressed himself. And it's just a really gorgeous duo. And then you've got all this percussion coming in here now for this hook. That vibrato is just effortless. It's so stunning. Really 
So I've kind of got the piano taking like a bit more of a step back here and letting the drums and the guitar come in. And this guy is just going across the most of his range and just sort of, he's living his best life right now as a singer, you know. I think that's the power of great sort of songwriting is that you can make something like that work by taking back other parts of the music. You couldn't have a very busy harmonic section with like the guitars and bass and all that. Uh, and also have AJ Lewis just smashing it out. Cause I assume that AJ Lewis is doing is doing the thing here. You just can't you can't have that. I'm assuming that in this like video that is effectively a love song is talking about their journey as they began to know each other as lovers. I'm assuming the older couple is and the younger couple are kind of connected. A time to rest. We must get stronger and stand up tall. stand together in our minds when you're with me i don't really care ah uh, cool get the backing vocals come in that was something that i noticed in the previous track as well we had those harmonies coming in in the second chorus it's an effective kind of formula you know you have that introduction to kind of soothe people into it. There's a bit of a build in that percussion, so that's enough to keep things fresh. And then the second time you layer it and you develop it. What is happening? What's out there? When you're with me, I don't really care. What is happening? What's out when you're with me, I don't really care what's happening. That That's that's kind of really, it, I, I don't want to sort of, I've heard a lot of love songs. So I've become sort of almost sort of uh, apathetic towards it. But I, I have an appreciation for what they've gone for here. And I think it is done incredibly well. It is true that when you're in love with someone, especially, like you know, at any age, that person is like your focus. Yeah, that person can be your soulmate. That is incredibly romantic. It's the basis of a lot of, especially that, that golden period, newlywed period. It's just, is that radiance. But what's, I guess, kind of cool about this video is that they show the older couple and that they still feel that same way. You know, there's a brilliance to that. There's a beauty to that. These plucks are kind of dope as well. Also, I want to comment on the vocals uh, in the chorus. When he goes high, there's a lot of volume there. And the mixing on and the compression on that vocal track has been handled incredibly well. That would not have been an easy thing to control. But it's just really skillful and really impressive. Tom Gorsuch is just... He's a beast on the... He's a beast on the um, disc, man. Well done. Hold on that. Someone notice the silence we must break. If someone hears me, there's a chance that I will break. If we stand together in our minds when you're Really stunning video as well. This time is crazy. Can you believe? That was a stunning way to finish it as well. Really heartfelt. Really, again, really genuine. Tom Gorsuch has a way of creating music. It sticks with you and it it remains in your 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 mind, heart, and soul for a while. It hits you on a deep personal level. It's it's just really lovely, really lovely music, really well written. I can't personally fault either of these two tunes I've listened to today. I think they are both 
the, the independently they were fantastic there was no sort of weaknesses in terms of the mixing and mastering the songwriting i mean obviously there weren't any massive risks taken in regards to the way that tracks were written like there weren't any crazy key changes or any sort of really wacky solos or there weren't any kind of weird harmonies i i, I think that's primarily because with the subject matter that we've been discussing within these tracks and also just the genre it wouldn't have suited it's fantastic it's got elements of like r&b and pop and some sort of rock and sort of pop elements and, and all that kind of stuff and it's really really sweet really sweet really it's really phenomenal stuff we are going to go to the last track now which is let's dance let's uh shout uh tom gorsuch featuring aj jinx so we got rock and roll scar type so again this is a different genre this shows that tom can uh go, sorry i got something in my eye can work with a wide variety of artists and different genres and create music that suits their them best especially because these are all been collaborations so far as i understand it uplifting banger was created by music mix tom gorsuch uh, vocals aj jinx and then lyrics by jolie wiseman 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 I'm going to go with any of those. Hopefully I got one of them correct. I, I mean that genuinely. My pronunciation isn't always the best, but we try. So yeah, we're going to listen to this and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Hang on, I just want to just check the the uh, resolution. Okay, cool, that's good. Move your feet. Don't need to compete. If you step out of line and you will do the time. Ah, uh, okay, I'm hearing the brass coming in now. That's cool. Yeah, this is great. This is this is well done. We I'm digging the dancers, actually. Because of course the song is let's dance, let's shout. It wouldn't have you you couldn't possibly have anything else going in. I mean I mean it's genuinely as well, like you need to have all these sorts of dances to sort of express themselves. Yeah, this is actually really catchy. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. That that one, two, that quarter note groove with with the the brass kind of with those melodies on top, so those harmonies. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yep, got some sort of uh, the overall harmony is very positive and upbeat and sort of um, euphoric, and it's kind of trying to convince you to get up and sort of move around a bit. That little repeater in there was phenomenal. That's exactly what we needed. I love the charisma within this singer. He's stunning. Like so much energy, so much vibrancy, so much. It's just, I, I, I live for it. It's, he sounds like the kind of musician who can make any song fun, you know? And it's great that Tom Gorsuch was able to sort of capture his personality within the music and make it compatible like that. I'm wondering if there's been automation on the mastering channel for this bit because it sounds like it's a bit hot, louder, but I also think maybe there's been some simple work that's kind of filled up the sides of the stereo field. Let's dance the shout. Let's hit the ground. Not over. Are we sober? 
What is that's interesting. If we slow down, we'll never start again. We can make pretend. I promise it's not very different vibe to this interlude, eh? It's nice to have everything cut out. Oh, not everything. We've still got the sort of the hi hats, kicks, and the guitars, but you know what I mean. Oh, slow build back into that main outro. Let's go. Cool, dope. That was really fun. I really enjoyed this track. It, it had a very different energy to the previous two songs that we've listened to today. But um, I, I adore, I adore that. I think it's great to be able to listen to a range of different styles of music and different sort of modes that a, a you know, like Tom Gorsuch can present. And uh, again, mixed and mastered pretty flawlessly. I'm happy with the fact that we didn't sound like, like I know I was wondering about automation on the mastering chain. I think it's just that we added it to different instruments that were wider in the stereo field. So it sounded louder. It is something that comes with knowing how to work in that post-production space. Uh, the vocal performance was flawless. It was exactly what was required. I'm loving that the vocalists we've listened to today have just sounded fantastic without needing any sort of major amounts of modulation. There's been like a little bit of reverb, but that's it. Too often I have people who rely on the crutch of autotune. And while I don't mind autotune, like I think it's a fantastic device when used artistically, it's a shame when people use it primarily for the purpose of making up for the fact that maybe they just need a bit more time behind the mic. And Tom Gorsuch has picked artists and singers who are talented enough to really pop. And also a shout out to the videos, if I haven't said it before, with these three. Um, each of these three tracks had very professionally produced videos. I, I, I love the audiovisual medium and how Tom kind of goes for that with each of the tracks that I've sort of checked out. In fact, I'm thinking I want to correct something there. I have listened to a few of, I, I do feel I've listened to a few of Tom's tracks. I think I've listened to a few of them. I'm going to have to get myself another coffee. But yeah, production's dope. The, the songs, again, there were no massive risks taken in this one. It was very sort of, it was very faithful to rock and roll ska vibes. And it was a pretty, it was a banger, especially in, those, in the chorus. And yeah, it was basically what was a, as advertised. So yeah, no complaints about this run. I think I've said most of what I wanted to say about each track within... Uh, you know, with each of them, but I just want to say with Let's Dance, Let's Shout, it's the kind of track we need right now. We need people to continue to remain motivated to do things and to take care of themselves and to express themselves because it's it's all too easy to just become kind of depressed with the state of things, you know? And it's always a shame when you see people get so down on themselves that they don't even want to do anything. And sometimes you just need to get up and sort of have a shake around and just, it won't fix all your problems, obviously, but it's better, it's better than ruminating. You know, better than ruminating. But anyways, thank you for watching my review of Tom Gorsuch's various tracks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do check out Tom Gorsuch's uh, various social medias, um, as well as that of um, Cosmic Orphans, AJ Lewis and uh, AJ Jenks, and uh, also uh, Jolie Weisman and everyone else involved in this. And Brandon Kirkham. And uh, please do stay cool and stay safe. Please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point. Tommy's need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up.